The guy down there on the rope, that's Rick. Rick's stuck in a time loop. And the only way he can free himself is by getting to the top of this mountain. I'm living in hell. Yep, you sure are. <laughs> Each contestant will need to answer 12 questions correctly to get Rick to the top of Metal Mountain. One wrong answer, and it's game over. If they aren't sure, they can either switch categories, unlock multiple choice, or phone a banger TV host. We've searched the planet for metalheads who think they know everything about metal. Now, it's time to see if they've got what it takes. Don't kill me! It's time to play Metalheads! Welcome to another episode of Metal Heads in our quest to find the ultimate metal brain. This time we are joined by Hawk. Hawk, where are you joining us from? I'm joining you from Norway, Oslo. Norway, Oslo, a great home to metal. What would you say your favorite <laughs> band is? Uh, my favorite band is, uh, well, we have them right there, I'm on Marth. The great Melodeth Legends, I'm on Marth. I've been in, in the music video. Oh, hey, well, there you go. You're not joking when you say you're an Amon Marth fan. Let's play Metalheads. Our first question for you. You've got three categories. Music festivals, grunge, and British death metal. Let's do festivals. Okay. This annual festival is held on the American Eastern Seaboard City of Baltimore and was founded in 2003. Okay. So being from Europe, I have no idea. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm good with Valken, Hellfest, uh, Download, uh, Sweden, <laughs> Sweden Rock. I, I can't think of a, one single festival there. So let's call someone. All right, we'll be checking in with Bradley Zordrager. You're joining Hawk in from Norway. He's needing help with a little North American question. He knows the European festivals. He doesn't know the American festival in this question. The question is, this annual festival is held on the American Eastern Seaboard City of Baltimore and was founded in 2003. Not Maryland Death Fest. Hawk, are you trusting Brad and going with Maryland Death Fest? Well, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it was, in fact, Maryland Death Fest. Woo. We're past the first question. We're moving on to question number two. Your three categories are Megadeth, fictional bands, and Iron Maiden. I have Eddie right here, so let's do Iron Maiden. All right. Which Iron Maiden album was the first to feature Bruce Dickinson on vocals? Uh, Number of the Beast. Number of the Beast is correct. All right, you've gotten your groove. Now question number three is coming at you. Your three questions are side projects, post-hardcore, and guitar heroes. Okay, let's... Let's go number one with side projects. Let's see if I can do something there. Which is the name of Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine's solo project? I kind of know this and if you asked me a couple of years ago, I would know it straight away. <laughs> Actually, let's skip this one. I, I don't think I can uh, manage to get it out. New category. Picking between post-hardcore and guitar heroes. Guitar heroes. This famous shredder, known for his signature style and distinct hat, was featured on the cover of Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Slash. Slash, there we go. Woo. Coming up with question four. Your question four categories are, this is Spinal Tap, What's in a Name, and Florida Death Metal. Let's go because it's intriguing me, what's in the name. What band name did Pig Destroyer discard for potentially being too controversial? Hmm, I don't really listen to them much, so... Multiple choice. Your three options for what did Pig Destroyer discard for being too controversial of a name? Was it number one, Ass Pounder? Number two, Anal Vomit? Number three, Cop Killer? I feel like Anal Vomit isn't that much, so if... But Cop Killer could be... What was the first one again? Ass Pounder. Let's go with number three. Well, you've gone with number three, Cop Killer, and you've gone with the correct choice. It was Pig Destroyer almost. We're called Cop Killer. We're out of little helpers. So you're going solo from here on. Your tier five questions are bass players, cover songs, and music videos. I feel when my band members see this, they're gonna hate me because I'm a bass player if I don't pick bass players. All right, which band did Lemmy play bass in prior to Motorhead? Oh, Hawkwind. Hawkwind, correct. 
question number six. Three categories are arch enemy, guitarists, and math core. Hey, let's go guitarist. Let's go guitarist. Okay. This guitar player was born in Des Moines, Iowa, and founded Stone Sour before continuing on to play in a much heavier and more famous project. Is it Corey Taylor we're we going for? It is Corey Taylor we're going for because we're going for a correct answer. And you have completed question number six. You are now halfway up the mountain. How does it feel? I, I'm happy now. I can, uh, I can go home if I wasn't already home. Okay, well, thanks for coming out. We'll see you next time. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's go, it. okay, okay, okay. You know what, let's go crazy and do question seven. All right, mm -hmm. categories are power of violence, Shakespeare, and named after. Ooh, let's go with Shakespeare just for the fun of it. All right, what French label that released projects by Weed Eater and Ken Mode takes its name from A Midsummer's Night's Dream? Oh, the one I haven't read. Um, come on. You haven't read Midsummer's Night Dream, but French label, you know any French metal labels? What is that? That is the um, thing. Do I know any French labels? I gotta say, that is where I ended. I made it halfway. I don't know. Well, Metal Mountain delivers another happy customer. The correct answer there was Season of Mist. Hawk, we thank you for joining us. We thank you for coming out, and we thank you for setting a goal. It was well within your sights. Thank you for having me. See ya.